Welcome back YouTube. Today we're going to be doing a video that's a little bit different than what I normally do. We're going to be uh, cleaning and uh, resuppling the leather on uh, one of my antiquarian books. Now I already did this procedure on my Latin proverbs and quotations text. You can find that particular video in my video uh, library. And I'll show you some before and after shots here. And you can tell that the older text um, was a little bit drier, given its age, of course. The leather does dry out. And when I applied the cleaner and preservative, the leather got much more richer, darker than it normally was. It wasn't as uh, sandy almost, and it became more supple, like it would have been when it was newly bound. So. Uh, this particular text here, you've seen in my video before, it's Lysi Oriationis, and it's uh, quarter bound in this uh, red leather here with the marbled paper uh, boards. So this text, you can tell it does have some age on it. Uh, this is from 1860, and there is discoloring on the leather. You'll see some black there, some black spots on the leather there. Overall though, the leather itself is in uh, pretty good condition other than uh, the discoloring. So what I have here is I have some sterile uh, towelettes here, they're disposable. So I have a bunch of them here. And what I'm using is Accessible Preservatives Leather Cleaner Restore and Preservative. This one, this particular uh, preservative here contains neat's foot oil, beeswax and microwax. Now you can get different blends depending on your needs. I was debating between this particular container and Masters conditioner oil from uh, Hollanders. But I ended up choosing this because I saw that quite um, high profile restorers prefer this one here. So what we'll do is we'll open it up and you'll see that it's like a waxy gel. And we'll grab one of these clean micro uh, cloths here. Well, now we're not going to go over the paper and we're just going to tab some on the end here. You can barely see it. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go in circles. So we're just gonna keep going down. When I was doing the proverbs and quotations, I had to go through quite a bit of these cloths here because the book had so many years of dust and grime on it and I was astounded of how much I actually got off. This one I'm actually surprised that it's quite clean. Um, even given the discoloration on here, I would have assumed that the pressure that I'm applying here, which isn't that much, but although this is a cleaner, that some of the grime would come off. Now what you do is once you apply this preservative on here, you normally wait about uh, it says about 10 minutes to dry, but ideally you'd wait about an hour. And then if necessary, you apply a second or tertiary coat to it, and maybe even more. I think I applied four coats to my Latin Proverbs and Quotations, and I may apply one or two more, just for safe measure. Yeah, it's actually quite clean, which is surprising. This particular uh, book may have been cleaned by the bookseller that I purchased it from. Now we can go over here. And what's nice is when you go over uh, the spines or even the covers that have gold gilt, it uh, even polishes up the gold if it's a uh, real 24 karat gold or 22 karat gold. So just keep going. And what's nice about this too is not only does it make it look newer, but uh, the feel itself is also quite nice. It'll make the leather much more supple than before. And this is stuff that uh, people even do with like uh, modern leather books, like uh, stuff from the Eastern Press or Franklin Library, even Folio Society. It's because books are bound uh, and were bound in leather because they were meant to read. Yeah, the oils from your hands would actually make the leather supple. So if you put it on a bookshelf and leave it there for years, decades, or even centuries, the leather will dry out. It's no different than uh, your own skin. This is pretty much clean. 
and the leather is in good condition, but this condition, uh, this preservative and conditioner here will make it even more so. So that's cleaning up a little bit and resuppling the leather on an antiquarian book. I hope you enjoyed this video. To see more great content like this, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and a comment down below. Of course, remember to subscribe to keep up to date with the Leather Library's newest videos. Also, please make sure you visit the Leather Library blog for more in-depth articles on philosophy, literature, and the finer things in life. As always, keep on reading.